Welcome to another video and today I want to talk about fuel pressure and why you should probably avoid upping your base fuel pressure for the sake of getting more flow out of your injectors. At least that's what you should do to basically save your fuel pump and also your fuel pump wiring maybe. Where am I getting this from or why would you raise your base fuel pressure? Well, we are going to start at a injector fuel or injector flow calculator. We are taking for example a 440cc injector which is pretty common in the Bosch world and usually most cars have 45 psi of fuel pressure and then your fuel pressure is let's say you put in a 4 bar or 60 psi fuel pressure regulator you get 508 uh, CC. That's great, right? So maybe why not up your fuel pressure to 5 bar or whatever to get even more flow. So like 75. Well, then you are going to get almost 600 CC injectors. That's great. You, you can use like low CC injectors or even stock injectors and turbo your car. Well, there are some problems. Not only do spray patterns of injectors get worse above like 60 psi, and that is 60 psi actual pressure, looking at your fuel pump, which I'm using a upgraded fuel pump here, this would be a AM340 liter per hour. For example, in stock fuel pumps, this effect can be even more noticeable. And this is a graph where you have on one axis, we have the fuel pressure from 40 PSI, which is pretty low and an NA application usually, to about 80 PSI, which would be a high boost application for a car that is using a base pressure of 45 PSI. And we have the flow rate on the left side. And that's what is important and also, we have the amperage or the current that the pump is drawing, but we're not going to focus on that right now. We want to look at the flow the pump is able to handle. This is a 340 liter per hour pump, so it's already a bit bigger or a bit uh, able to flow a bit more than the 255s, for example, that are very popular from Walbro and stuff. Um, but we can see here that the 340 liters per hour are only able to be supplied at 40 psi of fuel pressure so that is on an na application and if you would go for example to a slightly or moderately boosted application that would be running let's say 1.5 bar of boost or let's say one bar of boost for the sake of being a lot more easy so we would go from 45 to 60 psi and at that point we would be already down to 300 liters per hour Okay, 300 liters power is still a lot of fuel. You would be able to run about 800 horsepower with that. Um, so that shouldn't be an issue. AM also provided a chart here on how much this or how much uh, this fuel pump would be providing at different fuels and different fuel pressure levels. That's actually pretty handy. So for example, if we are looking at 60 PSI and pump gas, we would be looking at like 940 to 950 or something. That's actually pretty good still and pretty reasonable. But if you would, for example, raise your fuel pressure and you are obviously using a fuel pressure regulator that is boost reference. So the, the amount, the boost increases, the fuel pressure incre increases with it because in your manifold obviously there is boost pressure which is pus pushing against the injectors so the actual pressure the injectors are looking at or the injectors are going are working at is just still the base pressure but we still have to use that pressure in addition to the map pressure as the pressure that is used by the fuel pump or that the fuel pump has to put out basically uh, if we would use, for example, a heavily boosted application at 2 bar of boost and using a base pressure of 45 psi or 43.5, doesn't really matter, 45 psi plus 30 psi would be 75 psi, which is already quite, quite high and we are looking at 
being right here. So 75 PSI, that's only 255 to 53 liters per hour, which is even 50 liters per hour less than before. And then we would be only looking at about 850 horsepower. So we are getting quite low. If you, for example, would then go ahead and up your fuel pressure to four bar, well, you are looking at 90 PSI. And at 90 PSI, well, the scale only goes to 80, but at 90 PSI, we'd be looking at 230 maybe. And at that point, we would be not even be able to reach 800. So we'd be probably at 750. Looking at other fuels, for example, E85, which is used pretty commonly. So we have that here, which is the green line. We would be only looking at about 600. Also, obviously those horsepower numbers are kind of just a rough estimate, I'm guessing. And you also have a few different values here. For example, those are I'm not sure exactly, but I guess those are boosted or not. But for the sake of showing it to you, it makes sense and still works. Going back to the amperage though, this is also pretty interesting because obviously the more pressure the pump has, produced, uh, has to produce, the more amps it's going to draw. And most of the cars using normal fuel pump wiring are only going to have a limited amount of wire diameter. So pushing like 13, 14 amps through those wires is still okay. While going like 15 plus and on, for example, pumps that are even more powerful, like 20 amps even, then it gets at the to a point where the actual wire gauge will restrict the pump quite a bit so that it can't flow the actual amount it might be able to and that actually increases with boost uh, with fuel pressure as you can see here the more pressure you add the more amperage the pump is going to be pulling so this is why you don't really want to up your base fuel pressure and you want to stay at three bar because your fuel system is going to thank you. Not only that your pump is going to be suffering more, but also the rest like your lines, etc., are going to be under more stress. And uh, yeah, that's not really too nice. Of course, you could run a dedicated wiring system or a dedicated relay for your pump, but that still would not really solve the problem. It would only be able to provide the fuel pump with enough to achieve its rated flow rates. And that's just a short video on why you probably maybe shouldn't adjust or shouldn't up your base fuel pressure. That's it for me. I hope you learned something and as always, see you in the next video. Bye.